how I made a remote control following mode that also avoids obstacles chopper from Star Wars Rebels, which in principle should also work for other droids like R2-D2. So I started off with a bin, because uh, it was much lighter than getting anything 3D printed, and then I had to use a lot of algebra to get the kind of shapes for the domes on the head and the base. And there it is kind of cut out and put together, just taped together as a temporary kind of make sure it all works, because it's the first time using algebra since high school. And then I used a soldering iron to plastic weld these parts together, um, as you can kind of see there. And then I had to fill that in, and I've also attached wheels on the bottom at this point so the head can rotate. This is it sanded and painted with primer, doing a kind of test fit of the head rotating uh, with a self oscillating USB powered desk fan. Then back to the body, I kind of marked it up with a lot of tape and then put pictures over the top of it on my phone to work out the right kind of dimensions of where everything should go and look right. Then where those markings were, I went over with a soldering iron to kind of make those engravings and also cut out the areas that are cut out. And this is kind of what it looked like after that stage. I made all the kind of bolts and mechanisms and clamps and things that go in chopper and are on display and there they are kind of in there as a test fit. I did also make the kind of clamps or hands that come out of his head but I've decided not to use them because I didn't want more kind of hazardness happening, uh, more opportunities for him to break uh, with that coming out of his head or to like hit people with those. There he was with some primer on and then the first coat of paint. For the legs I used insulation board, you could use other types of foam, styrofoam or whatever and then carved into that. I also put some wood down in the legs to give them more stability and strength because uh, the board itself isn't that strong and coated it in polyfiller on the outside um, as you can kind of see there. There's the first test fit of the legs on chopper, I ended up making them a little bit thinner because I was working with 100% size dimensions but this chopper is actually about 85% size um, and there they are kind of painted up. So whilst a remote control droid is quite common, a droid that follows you isn't. And I joined a lot of forums and all of the kind of droid building forums said that it's impossible to do and it's too dangerous because of the weight and if it bumped into people. However, I built my droid out of a trash can, so he's considerably lighter than the 3D printed stuff that they use. I also looked up online and found a suitcase that follows you, made for airports, so it avoids obstacles. So I took out all of the mechanics and kind of mechanisms and things inside, and I put that in chopper. So sadly it does take away from the accuracy because of where the sensors are placed, and the bottom of it is still part of a suitcase effectively with all of the mechanisms and technology inside. So to hide the base suitcase I got some reflective mirror sheet things and glued them on um, and then this is me just showing the self oscillating desk fan USB powered thing that helps rotate the head. And there he is, moving, following me, being a good little trash can droid. And that's 